This video is about comma rules in English punctuation. Using correct punctuation is important because punctuation conveys meaning just as words do. The comma we're going to talk about today is the introducer comma. We use the introducer comma to separate an introductory element from a main clause. There are three types of introductory elements in English. Words, phrases, and clauses. Use a comma to separate the introductory element from the main clause. Here are some examples of words used as introductory elements. Here's an example. Moreover, Culture shock affects nearly everybody who enters a new culture. Suddenly, new experiences seem stressful rather than exciting. However, you manage to overcome the difficulties of adapting to life in a new country. Where would you use a comma in these sentences? Notice how the comma comes after the first word, the word immediately before the main clause. Moreover, suddenly, and however, each of these words is an introductory element. These are examples of phrases used as introductory elements. Sooner or later, most people get homesick the first time they leave home. For example, you don't understand their sense of humor. To sum up, culture shock is a real phenomenon that has been studied for years. Where would you place a comma in these sentences? Notice how the comma goes after the introductory element, which is a phrase in this case. Sooner or later, most people get homesick the first time they leave home. The comma goes after sooner or later. For example, you don't understand their sense of humor. The comma comes right after for example. To sum up, Culture shock is a real phenomenon that has been studied for years. Again, the comma comes after the introductory element. Clauses can also be an introductory element. Notice that clauses always have verbs in them. Because you don't know the social customs of the new culture, you may find it difficult to make friends. As your language skills improve, you begin to enjoy the new culture. 
After realizing you cannot change your surroundings, you begin to accept the differences. Where do the commas go in these three sentences? In the first sentence, because you don't know the social customs of the new culture, the comma goes after the clause. In the second sentence, as your language skills improve, you begin to enjoy the new culture. The comma again goes after the introductory element, which is the clause. In the third sentence, the comma again goes after the introductory element, the clause after realizing you cannot change your surroundings. For more English lessons, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash learner English with KT.